Hey everyone, so I have a movie review today and this is It Takes Two which I mentioned in my haul video today and this is first of all one of if not my childhood favourite movie I love it so so much and my mother and I sat down and watched it the other night and I was like oh, I miss this so much so as you can see by the cover it has a really brilliant cast and um, the Olsons are in it, they, were, they would have been about 10 or 11 um, in it and they're, you know, they're super cute and you can tell Ashley just doesn't look like an Olsen um, then you have Kirstie Alley, which is a mega attraction, Steve Guttenberg and Jane Sabet there. So the cast for me is a massive attraction with this, so had I not watched it as a kid, I probably would have bought it now because of the cast, it is absolutely brilliant. For those of you who haven't seen this, it focuses on two identical strangers, Amanda Lemon and Alyssa Calloway. Amanda lives in an orphanage, I don't really like the word orphanage, a children's home, she lives in a children's home and they all go to camp. And she's kind of best buds with the one of the people who work at the camp, Diane. And then you have Alyssa Calloway. Now she goes to a boarding school and at the beginning of the movie she comes, she comes home from the boarding school to her big posh, big posh house which is just associated right opposite Calloway Camp, Camp Calloway. And she finds out that her daddy is getting married to Clarice. Now Clarice is a very big bitch. I don't know if I should say that but I'm gonna. She is. She's very snooty. She's very full of herself. She doesn't like Cage kids kids she doesn't like kids and she wants Roger Alyssa's dad all to herself so Alyssa runs away and Amanda also kind of runs away from camp to go and play a game with the house that's a really long story but basically they both are running in the woods for one reason or another and they bump into each other and there's this moment where they're both looking at each other each each at each other as if to say you're me you look like me and Amanda and Alyssa are strangers. There's no swapped at birth, you know, like um, divorced and split away at birth. There's no nothing like that. They are strangers. They are complete strangers. It's just a coincidence they look like each other. And Amanda wants to be adopted by her care worker, Diane. But she can't be because Diane doesn't have a big enough salary or a husband. And Alyssa wants Clarice out of her life. So the, the identical strangers make this plot to get Diane and Roger to meet and fall in love. And the whole thing is about them trying to get that to happen. So there's an incident with a horse where Roger... I'm not going to say all that happens, but Roger basically saves Diane's life involving a horse. Um, there's there's a scene at the pool, which is really nice, um, at the lake. And you're starting to think, is this going to work or is Clarice going to have her way? Because all these different problems arise just as you think they're going to get together. Clarice comes along and ruins it. And it's... It's frustrating, but once you've seen it the first time, you know what happens, so you can just relax and enjoy it, and it's really, really nice. My favourite scene of the whole thing is when they have a big food fight. It's when they have the food fight, and Roger gets the macaroni on his head. That is my favourite scene of the whole lot. I just really love it. So it is really, really good. Obviously, for a lot of people, the main attraction is the Olsons, because they are adorable in this. I don't know, I haven't really looked at, it, looked at their movies in any way other than this one until now. But I actually believe that Mary Kate is the better actress of the two. In my younger days, Ashley was always my favourite, but Mary Kate is now my favourite Olsen. You know, everybody has to have a favourite Olsen twin. And Mary Kate is now my favourite. She has been for a couple of years, but it used to be Ashley. Um, but I actually believe that Mary Kate is the best, better of the two. But it is absolutely sensational. It's about an hour and a half long, which I think is really nice. It's so beautiful. The music in it is insane. You have, um, I don't know if it's called, you know, for goodness sake. Da -da 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 that one. Um, there's a scene where Diane sings a Jingle Jingle Jangle song, which is brilliant. Um, and you've got I Feel Good. There are some really amazing songs in it. The the DVD also has a couple of um, extra features on it. You have the trailer, which until I watched this the other day, I had never, ever seen the trailer for it before. So it was quite nice to see, because this was out in 1995. So I was three, possibly four. Um, so I had never seen the trailer for it, so I thought that was quite nice. It's a really long trailer. Something just fell, I don't even want to know what it was. And there's also um, little sort of cast bites, like sort of mini interviews. The ones with the Olsons is just them looking at each other saying, you know, we don't really look alike. If you look at us together, we kind of have differences. And they do. The Olsen twins don't, they're not identical, they're fraternal. So they don't actually look that much alike once you sort of study them and pay proper attention. Um, but the ones with um, Kirstie Alley and um, Jane Sabet are, you know, a lot different. I think had I realised that this was Jane Sabet when I was younger, I probably wouldn't have liked her as Carol in Friends and as whatever she played in Sabrina. I can't remember her name. She's not important in Sabrina. Um, but she is one of my favourite actresses as well, so that was really, really great. 
But yeah, if you haven't seen this, do get a hold of it. It's about £5 on Amazon, which I think is really, really great. I'm wanting to get the, the Region 1 one from, from America. Um, so hopefully when I go out there, I can find a DVD store and hopefully they have it. Because I just really like the cover of the America one. I think it's much nicer. But yeah, it's absolutely fantastic. Really brilliant. One of my all-time favourite movies. One of my childhood favourite movies. And one I definitely recommend. But please feel free to leave comments. Let me know your thoughts on this or anything else. And that's it for just now. So I'll see you all next time. Bye.